The British Film Institute BFI is a film and charitable organisation which promotes and preserves filmmaking and television in the United Kingdom. The BFI utilises lottery funds to encourage film production, distribution, and education. It is sponsored by the Department of Digital, Culture, Media and Sport. Purpose It was established by Royal Charter to encourage the development of the arts of film, television and the moving image throughout the United Kingdom, to promote their use as a record of contemporary life and manners, to promote education about film, television and the moving image generally, and their impact on society, to promote access to and appreciation of the widest possible range of British and world cinema and to establish, care for and develop collections reflecting the moving image history and heritage of the United Kingdom. Topic BFI activities. Topic Archive. The BFI maintains the world's largest film archive, the BFI National Archive, previously called National Film Library (1935–1955), National Film Archive (1955–1992), and National Film and Television Archive (1993–2006). The archive contains more than 50,000 fiction films, over 100,000 non-fiction titles, and around 625,000 television programmes. The majority of the collection is British material but it also features internationally significant holdings from around the world. The archive also collects films which feature key British actors and the work of British directors. Topic cinemas The BFI runs the BFI Southbank formerly the National Film Theatre NFT and London IMAX Cinema, both located on the south bank of the River Thames in London. The IMAX has the largest cinema screen in the UK and shows popular recent releases and short films showcasing its technology, which includes 3D screenings and 11,600 watts of digital surround sound. BFI Southbank the National Film Theatre Screens and the Studio shows films from all over the world, particularly critically acclaimed historical and specialized films that may not otherwise get a cinema showing. The BFI also distributes archival and cultural cinema to other venues, each year to more than 800 venues all across the UK, as well as to a substantial number of overseas venues. Topic: Education. The BFI offers a range of education initiatives, in particular to support the teaching of film and media studies in schools. In late 2012, the BFI received money from the Department for Education to create the BFI Film Academy Network. Topic: Festivals. The BFI runs the annual London Film Festival along with BFI Flair, London LGBT Film Festival and the Youth Orientated Future Film Festival. Other activities The BFI publishes the monthly Sight and Sound magazine as well as films on Blu-ray, DVD and books. It runs the BFI National Library, a reference library, and maintains the BFI Film and TV database and summary of information on film and television, SIFT, which are databases of credits, synopses, and other information about film and television productions. SIFT has a collection of about 7 million still frames from film and television. The BFI has co-produced a number of television series featuring footage from the BFI National Archive, in partnership with the BBC, including The Lost World of Mitchell and Kenyon, The Lost World of Frisia Green, and The Lost World of Tibet. Organization <laughs> 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 History The Institute was founded in 1933. 
Despite its foundation resulting from a recommendation in a report on film in National Life, at that time the institute was a private company, though it has received public money throughout its history from the Privy Council and Treasury until 1965 and the various culture departments since then. The institute was restructured following the Radcliffe Report of 1948 which recommended that it should concentrate on developing the appreciation of filmic art, rather than creating film itself. Thus control of educational film production passed to the National Committee for Visual Aids in Education and the British Film Academy assumed control for promoting production. From 1952 to 2000, the BFI provided funding for new and experimental filmmakers via the BFI Production Board. The Institute received a Royal Charter in 1983. This was updated in 2000, and in the same year the newly established UK Film Council took responsibility for providing the BFI's annual grant in aid government subsidy. As an independent registered charity, the BFI is regulated by the Charity Commission and the Privy Council. In 1988, the BFI opened the London Museum of the Moving Image on the South Bank. MOMI was acclaimed internationally and set new standards for education through entertainment, but subsequently it did not receive the high levels of continuing investment that might have enabled it to keep pace with technological developments and ever-rising audience expectations. The museum was, "...temporarily," closed in 1999 when the BFI stated that it would be re-cited. This did not happen, and MOMI's closure became permanent in 2002 when it was decided to redevelop the South Bank site. This redevelopment was itself then further delayed. Topic today The BFI is currently managed on a day-to-day -day basis by its chief executive, Amanda Neville. Supreme decision-making authority rests with a chair and a board of up to 14 governors. The current chair is Josh Berger, who took up the post in February 2016. He succeeded Greg Dyke, who took office on 1 March 2008. Dyke succeeded the late Anthony Minghella, film director, who was chair from 2003 until 31 December 2007. The chair of the board is appointed by the BFI's own Board of Governors but requires the consent of the Secretary of State for Culture, Media and Sport. Other governors are co-opted by existing board members when required, but if one of these is appointed deputy chair, that appointment is subject to ratification by the Secretary of State. The BFI operates with three sources of income. The largest is public money allocated by the Department for Culture, Media and Sport. In 2011-12, this funding amounted to approximately £20 million. The second largest source is commercial activity such as receipts from ticket sales at BFI Southbank or the BFI London IMAX Theatre £5 million in 2007, sales of DVDs, etc. Thirdly, grants and sponsorship of around £5 million are obtained from various sources, including national lottery funding grants, private sponsors and through donations J. Paul Getty Jr. donated around £1 million in his will following his death in 2003. The BFI is also the distributor for all lottery funds for film in 2011-12 this amounted to c. £25 million, as well as its work on film, the BFI also devotes a large amount of its time to the preservation and study of British television programming and its history. In 2000, it published a high-profile list of the 100 greatest British television programmes, as voted for by a range of industry figures. The delayed redevelopment of the National Film Theatre finally took place in 2007, creating in the rebranded BFI Southbank new education spaces, a gallery, and a pioneering mediathek, which for the first time enabled the public to gain access, free of charge, to some of the otherwise inaccessible treasures in the National Film and Television Archive. The Mediathek has proved to be the most successful element of this redevelopment, and there are plans to roll out a network of them across the UK. An announcement of a £25 million capital investment in the Strategy for UK Screen Heritage was made by Secretary of State for Culture, Media and Sport at the opening night of the 2007 London Film Festival. 
The bulk of this money paid for long overdue development of the BFI National Archive facilities in Hertfordshire and Warwickshire. During 2009, the UK Film Council persuaded the government that there should only be one main public funded body for film, and that body should be the UKFC while the BFI should be abolished. During 2010, the government announced that there would be a single body for film. Despite intensive lobbying including controversially using public funding to pay public relations agencies to put its case the UKFC failed to persuade the government that it should have that role and, instead, the BFI took over most of the UKFC's functions and funding from 1 April 2011, and the UKFC was subsequently abolished. Since then, the BFI has been responsible for all lottery funding for film, originally in excess of £25 million p. a., and currently in excess of £40 million p. a. The BFI Film Academy forms part of the BFI's overall 5 to 19 education scheme. The programme is being supported by the Department for Education in England, who have committed £1 million per annum funding from April 2012 and 31 March 2015. It is also funded through the National Lottery, Creative Scotland and Northern Ireland Screen. On 29 November 2016 BFI announced that over 100,000 television programmes are to be digitised before the video tapes, which currently have an estimated five to six year shelf life, become unusable. BFI aim to make sure that the television archive is still there in 200 years' time. Topic BFI Chairman George Sutherland Leveson Gower, Fifth Duke of Sutherland, nineteen thirty three to nineteen thirty six Sir Charles Cleland, nineteen thirty six nineteen thirty seven Sir George Clark, nineteen thirty eight nineteen thirty nine William Brass, First Baron Chattersham, nineteen thirty nine to nineteen forty five Patrick Gordon Walker, 1946 to 1948; Cecil Harmsworth King, 1948 to 1952; S. C. Roberts, 1952 to 1956; Sylvester Gates, 1956 to 1964; Sir William Coldstream, 1964 to 1971; Sir Dennis Foreman, 1971 to 1973. Lord Lloyd of Hampstead, 1973 to 1976; John Freeman, 1976 1977; Enid Wistrich, acting, 1977 1978; Sir Basil Engham, 1978 to 1981; Lord Attenborough, 1982 to 1992; Jeremy Thomas, 1993 to 1997. Sir Alan Parker, 1998–1999; Joan Bakewell, 1999–2002; Anthony Mingella, 2003–2007; Roger Lawton, acting, 2008; Greg Dyke, 2008–2016; Josh Berger, 2016. Topic: BFI Directors. J. W. Brown, 1933 to 1936; Oliver Bell, 1936 to 1949; Dennis Foreman, 1949 to 1955; James Quinn, 1955 to 1964; Stanley Reed, 1964 to 1972; Keith Lucas, 1972 to 1978. Anthony Smith, 1979 to 1987; Wilf Stevenson, 1988 to 1997; Jane Clark, acting, 1997; John Woodward, 1998-1999; John Techman, 1999 to 2002; Adrian Wooten, acting, 2002-2003; Amanda Neville, 2003 present. Topic. See also BFI The Top 50 Greatest Films of All Time BFI 75 Most Wanted, the most sought-after films currently missing from the BFI archive 
BFI Flipside, the DVD, Blu-ray collection dedicated to telling the alternative history of British film BFI Top 100 British Films BFI TV 100 A list of the best British television programmes Fellows of the British Film Institute Cinema of the United Kingdom Independent Cinema in the United Kingdom Screen Online, a history website run by the BFI external link below List of film institutes Association of European Film Archives and Cinematheques